3D Biomatrix makes the move to 3D cell culture easy. We have two products on the market. One is a 384 well plate and the other is a 96 well plate. The hanging drop plate allows preclinical researchers to mimic the human body more closely than they can with a two-dimensional well plate like a flat bottom petri dish. Our bodies are 3D, they're not 2D, yet research is still conducted in a 2D environment early on. Researchers have been trying to accomplish a three-dimensional environment for many, many years. They would take gels and dab them on a lid and flip them over in order to create a hanging drop. Uh, and so this product was developed by a professor from the University of Michigan who saw an opportunity to actually allow researchers to form a hanging drop from above the plate. And so what this allows them to do is to feed the cells within the drop and to manage those cells within the drop and to add new cultures to that drop so that it mimics the human environment. Hanging drop plates are true three-dimensional environment. It's only the cells and the media. There's no matrix necessary. Uh, they are simple to adopt because they work with manual pipetting methods that researchers already use, as well as automated liquid handling equipment. Spheroids develop between one to five days depending on the cell line. Over 25 different cell lines have been used with our hanging drop plates and that list is growing. It's a stable three-dimensional environment Cold cultures are simple to grow within our plates and they work with existing equipment. Also, they're very, very cost effective. They're the least expensive product on the market to get such true three-dimensional cell culture. The other benefit of using the hanging drop plate is that you can have very controlled growth of a spheroid. It depends on the number of cells that you pipette into each well and one spheroid will grow per well so researchers can compare uh, very similar spheroids to each other when they conduct their testing. It takes about 10 to 15 years to get a drug to market for a pharmaceutical company and it costs up to $2 billion. Our goal is to allow researchers to form spheroids that mimic the human body much earlier in the process and so when they do this, they'll get more accurate data earlier and when this occurs, we believe that millions and millions of dollars can be saved on their, that drug's path to market.